I'm presenting the REED study, and in that study we have selected uh, just about uh, 2,000 patients based on their top 2A status, because we in a previous study showed that uh, top 2A may uh, be important for anticycline sensitivity. And in this study, we then randomized uh, 2,000 patients to a regimen with an anticycline, ibirubicin and cyclophosphamide, followed by docetaxel, uh, or to a regimen without uh, uh, docetaxel and cyclophosphamide. They had uh, the chemotherapy in a free weekly uh, schedule. The one regimen, the EC followed by docetaxel, patients received free cycles of EC and then free cycles of docetaxel. In the other regimen, patients received six cycles of docetaxel and cyclophosphamide, so six cycles in both regimens. There were absolutely no difference, uh, and this means that uh, patients with a top 2A normal tumour actually derive no benefit from an anticycline. And at the same time, there were more side effects uh, to the EC followed by docetaxel regimen, and thereby this, uh, these uh, side effects may also be av uh, avoided uh, for patients with a top 2A normal tumour. Yes, it's, it's something like 85% uh, of the patients who actually have a top 2A normal tumour, so it's a, a huge majority. I guess that, that doing a, a, a fish analysis for top 2A is in many institutions uh, challenging. Uh, so I guess the next uh, step will actually be to uh, uh, include uh, top 2A in some of the existing multi-gene assays.